Welcome everyone to another episode of Financial 15, the show where Kevin and I try to provide some financial knowledge, something you can use to improve your situation. Do all that in 15 minutes or less. Today we're going back to CPP. We've covered this topic a few times. It's a big one. Today we're looking at reasons you might want to delay your CPP. Lots of good information you want to... Yes, one of the bigger topics we always get is regards to when do I take my CPP? Should I take it early? Should I take it on time? Should I take it later? That's something we'll cover today. Again, if you want to find out these videos or more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click on the bottom. We'd love to have more people on there looking at everything that we put out there. Otherwise, you want to find more videos on this or anything else we've done, please go to our website at beckeror.com. Like us on Facebook. We are more than happy to show exactly what we can do for you and also answer any of the questions that come along. But today we are tackling CPP and we are tackling CPP at 70, not at 65, <laughs> not at 60, but waiting till the end before we can collect it. Clint, what do we have to deal with here? Yeah, we always have to provide a bit of context, then we can get right yes. into the details. And a reminder, we've done other videos on CPP. We've done a more detailed, more nuanced view on when to take CPP. Here, we're going to cover the basics and then dive in onto why someone might be delaying, why that could be a fit for your situation. The basics, CPP is a, a monthly index pension. You get it for life. So it's a retirement pension, mm -hmm. fully indexed. You get it for your life. Uh, what you receive will be dependent on what you pay in. We all pay into CPP. If you work in Canada, you earn some income, you're going to be paying to that pot. Your employer is also going to be contributing. In 2021, the number is 5.45%. If you're self-employed, you're going to have to do both bits, yours yeah. as well <laughs> as that of the employer. So you'll be up there for 10.9%. A few of the other basics here, Kevin. Yeah, and as we say, normally when we talk about CPP, it starts at age 65. Now, again, it can be taken earlier, it can be taken later, but it normally starts at age 65. And the maximum pension you could get this year for all those contributions at 65 is just over $1,200 a year. Now, that's the maximum you can get if you've maximized all your pension payments since 18. But again, the average is a lot different. It's about half, it's $614 and change. So again, these are important numbers to know so that you know exactly what you're looking at pension wise. Now, if you collect and pass away, there is a spousal benefit. And of course, that spousal benefits based on whether you're over 65 or under 65, and you get a certain percentage 60 on the over formula is used under 65. There's also a child benefit. And again, that also applies to under age 18, 25 in school, and the flat benefit that it gives right there. And finally, one point to mention on CPP basics, there is a death benefit to it. That death benefit mm -hmm. is set. It's 2,500 bucks. So if something happens, there is money that goes out that way to cover what's going on. But that's just some of the basics. There's more to cover, isn't there, Clint? Oh, there is. Yeah. And we're, again, we're going through this a little faster, but that's because we want to get to the reasons to take it at 70. So this slide's important for that specific topic. You can take it early. You can take it as early as 60. There's a penalty for doing so 0.6% per mm -hmm. month before your 65th birthday, which means you take it at 60, you're looking at a 36% reduction. You also get a bonus, which is what we're talking about today. You get an extra 0.7% per month past your 65th birthday. So if you wait until 70, you're getting a 42% bonus on that fully indexed guaranteed pension. That's a nice little top up. And then for CPP, there's lots of money in there. As of the end of 2020, $475 billion in that pot, all of which is managed by the CPP Investment Board. So in our view, there is a, a nice funding to back all mm -hmm. these benefits. And then uh, a little bit of data before we get into the reasons to delay. This comes from a joint research project done by FP Canada, Ryerson University, and the National Institute of Aging. And uh, they found 95% of Canadians take CPP at 65 or early. So clearly that's the best, uh, the most popular yeah. option. And only less than 1% actually delay until 70. Our view is more people should probably be considering that option. Yes. And uh, we'll get into a few of the reasons why that could be a big fit. Uh, and the first one here, Kevin, people live longer. Longevity is one reason why you want a larger pension in retirement. Exactly. And as you mentioned, I mean, very few people ever wait till that 70 time frame. A lot of people say they, they look at it as access to free cash and they want to get it as quick as they can. But as you mentioned, yeah. that's probably not the best option in the world. Longevity is huge. I mean, 50 years ago, yeah, maybe the average uh, life expectancy for a male was somewhere in the neighborhood of 75, 75, 77 years, 80. Nowadays, people are living into their 90s and it's a regularity. So the longer you live, the more money you're going to need down the road. So if you're taking everything early, you may not get as much as if you wait and then you can go on. I mean, this chart here, as we can see, 
the life expectancy for men and women, the longer you live, you're seeing that it's going forward with more years. So if you can live to 75, your chances of living to 85 are substantial. Live to 80, your chances of living to almost 90, again, substantial. These are things that we didn't worry about beforehand, but now you have to consider it. And especially if you're women, because your life expectancy is much bigger than what men are at this point in time. So longevity tends to be a big factor, doesn't it? Oh, it does. It absolutely does. This data is from Statistics Canada. You can see the the main male life expectancy in yellow there, the female life expectancy in green. And you're correct. If someone is 75 today, so you're for a, a man yeah. in Canada, 75 today, you're expected to live another 10.2 years. So beyond 85. And if you're a female, 75 in Canada today, you're expected to live another 13 years. Jeez. So to 88. So the idea here, longevity is certainly a trend. People are living longer. So why not plan for it? Why not get that larger mm -hmm. pension to lay your CPP so you can get that guaranteed index pension for life? That's the concept here. Uh, another item to consider is tax planning. Now, this might not yes. apply for everybody, but if you do have more saved up, let's say you have a larger RSP, well, by mm -hmm. delaying your CPP, you now get a window where you can chip away at that RSP. Now, we have a whole video on the RSP meltdown, which we'll link to. But the idea here is if you have a larger RSP, that can create a tax burden. If you pass away, it goes to your spouse. If both of you pass away, well, all of that's now taxable. And that can be a big burden on your estate. So if you can drain the RSP, well, that can be a tax benefit. So if you delay your CPP, you're creating a window where you have a little less income. And you can use that window to chip away at the RSP. So delaying the CPP can be a tactic used as part of a tax minimization strategy. Uh, another benefit here, Kevin, and this is uh, unfortunately a trend when it comes to <laughs> pensions in Canada, but there's yes. very few of these defined pensions anymore. Yeah, I mean, basically the cost for a defined pension plan nowadays is substantially more as we've seen the markets move, as we've seen more people get in. I mean, you know what you're putting in, we know what you get at the end and the, the employers have to make up the difference. Nowadays with expenses and everything else, much more in the way of defined contribution. We know what they contribute. We know what you contribute. What you get at the end becomes the big problem. And again, one pe person that, uh, or one thing that people don't seem to realize is CPP really is a defined pension plan. It is one of the last ones out there that is accessible to everybody who's been working. And again, why would you pass that up? If you wait longer, remember, it's indexed. You're going to get this for life. So you're constantly getting more money each and every year from the government of Canada because you delayed. So the higher the pension, the better off it is because, yeah, the ones you have, if it's not a defined pension plan, not one of the gold plated ones, then you could be in trouble going forward. Yeah. And it really, at this stage, apart from government institutions, uh, there mm -hmm. really aren't defined benefit plans. Like, there's very few in the private sector that have a That's defined right. benefit plan. It's really just the public sector at this stage. And yeah. a reminder for CPP, you mentioned this earlier, Kevin, there is a spousal benefit as well. So if yep. you have a larger pension, because you've waited, you delayed your CPP, well, that spousal benefit will now apply to that larger amount. So your spouse would get more if you passed away as well. So defined benefit plan with a spousal component, uh, all yep. the reasons why you might want to delay your CPP. And then we'll, we'll get a bit of data here. Now, this is from that same study we had mentioned earlier, the one that was yes. Ryerson University, FP Canada, and uh, the Aging Institute of Canada. They all kind of combined in their research, and they found that by delaying your CPP until the age of 70, opposed to taking it at 60, you can gain over $100,000 of secure lifetime income. What they're looking at, they're saying, all right, on typically Canadians live a little longer nowadays over that lifespan. If they delay and collect the larger paycheck, they're going to end up with a lot more money in their pocket. And yep. they found that amount to be over $100,000. And I find it uh, most folks in retirement probably think I'd like an extra hundred thousand dollars. So that's <laughs> no probably kidding. another reason you might want to delay your CPP. Yeah, again, and this all goes back to sort of that financial planning aspect, right? I mean, it's sort of the when do I take my CPP? These are all valid reasons for why you want to delay it to 70, especially if you've put away a nest egg or something along those lines that you're worried about. Not if I'm going to have enough to live, but how am I going to spend what I've got to live? So those are all questions that need to be answered. But, you know, an extra hundred grand, as you mentioned down below, is substantial when it comes to income that you're going to have over your lifetime in retirement. If you can deal with that, it's much more uh, of a I can do this when I want to as opposed to, OK, well, maybe I have to start scrambling. Mm -hmm. But again, I mean, I think that covers a lot of what we want to take a look at for some of the reasons why we want CPP at 70. Yes. Yeah, I would agree. And a reminder. The idea here is not that everyone has to delay or everyone has to take it yeah. early. We're really trying to get away from that concept as all and kind of have a more nuanced opinion to say, all right, you need to find something that's a fit 
for your plan, for your situation. And here's a few reasons or a few criteria that could help you decide if delaying would be a fit for you. Uh, that's really the concept here. You have to have that plan like you mentioned. And if you have questions about your financial plan or any mm -hmm. other topic for that matter, reach out to us. We're happy to help. You can get us at chatwithclintonandkevin.com. We always love to hear from folks. We certainly welcome your questions. Any parting comments for the folks, Kevin? Now, the only thing I guess I'd add is the fact that, as you mentioned right off the top, we have a variety of different videos on CPP mm -hmm. that you can take a look at. They may answer some of the questions if you don't want to answer or don't ask us directly, and hopefully we can help out some way down the road. Other than that, I think you've done a great job. We've covered CPP at 70, and we'll move on from here. Sounds good. Everyone take care and stay safe.